Hi, this is David Williams. In this video, I want to show you a simple feature of the BTS Expert Advisor Builder related to end elements. Now, an end element is the element that's used to terminate any drawing. And in a programming language kind of speak, it returns a value uh, at the end of the function. Sometimes it returns uh, an integer or a float or a double, that's like a decimal and it could return true or false or it could return a string as well so different data types now you may have noticed that in the toolbox area there is no place to store end elements that was a decision that we made to keep the toolbox from being too cluttered an end element typically doesn't have a lot of design thought put into it it just returns a value so there is really no reason to save them however if you're creating a bunch of drawing functions and they all return um, the same kind of types it can get a little tedious to keep uh, drawing and defining the same kind of end elements so we added a feature that while you're on a drawing you could always drag from the new elements portions of the toolbox and put a new end element out there but there's also another way where you could right click with your mouse and you could select from uh, the menu here for the ends now this is the main drawing of uh, an expert advisor and that means that it returns an integer value and so the choices you have when you go to the end element is you could just draw a regular end that's not defined in any way it's an integer uh, or there are some other choices on there the other choices are you could return zero you can return one where you can return negative one and so these end elements are fully defined it's defined as an integer and it returns zero you can see that there this one is defined as an integer and it returns one and this one is defined as an integer and it returns minus one and so this just helps you make drawings quickly you might find yourself using a lot of end elements and this way you don't have to keep uh, defining them in the same way now the reason we saw those choices on the menu is because this drawing uh, returns an integer if we were to create another drawing and change its return type from integer to boolean I'll just say OK here and I'll open up this drawing now when I go to add an end element on this on this drawing by right clicking I see different choices now again I could always get the regular end element that's not uh, configured in any way or I could select end true or end false and again these are defined correctly as boolean type and a true value here and a boolean type and a false value here so this is just a simple feature that will help you speed up when you're doing the same things over and over again when you're creating drawings for your expert advisor thanks bye